In this video, I'm going to talk about magnetic field calculations and how these calculations can be accomplished using cable HV software. I will go over the methodology of the magnetic field calculations, how to use the magnetic fields module of cable HV, optimizing phase configurations for single core cables, and I will show an example of a DC cable's magnetic field. The current in a cable generates a magnetic field which circulates in complete loops around the cable in a direction given by the right hand rule and emanates in all directions. Whereas the electric field reduces with the inverse square of the distance, magnetic field around a cable reduces with the inverse of the distance according to the Biot-Savart equation. When there is more than one cable, the total magnetic field at a particular distance away is the summation of contributions from all cables. For a three-phase cable circuit, the horizontal and vertical component will have components due to in-phase and out-of-phase currents for each conductor. In terms of safe limits for human exposure to magnetic fields, which is what cable designers may need to design for, the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection has set 1000 microtesla as the reference limit for occupational exposure and 200 microtesla as the public exposure limit. Cable HV software has a magnetic fields module. Let's explore the behavior of magnetic fields for cable systems and how to use the module. Start by modeling the current ratings for your cable systems whether it's an in-air or a buried installation type of calculation. When you open the magnetic fields module, the cables from your system will be imported. This includes all the positions and the currents which each cable is carrying in the table. Magnetic field density is automatically calculated at ground level and one meter above the ground, which is shown in the interactive plot along with the cable positions you can drag the cursor along the curves and between the curves to see magnetic field density at any position along the profiles. Notice magnetic field density is greatest at ground level or y equals zero meters directly above the buried cables. All items in the cable installation data table can be edited and changed, including phase designation, X and Y positions where Y is depth below ground, current magnitude, phase angle, direction of current flow, and cables can be turned on or off. Changing any of the parameters will affect the resultant magnetic field. The soil relative permeability can be changed for buried cables, but only has a small effect. The permeability of soil is only slightly higher than air. Here are some reference values for relative magnetic permeability of rock and soils. The calculation parameters determine the horizontal plot width, the vertical position, and the quantities of the plots. The horizontal start position is the leftmost position on the x-axis, whereas the horizontal end position is the rightmost position. The vertical start position is the height of the first plot, and the vertical end position is the height of the last plot. The step size determines how many plots there are between the start and the end. In this plot, there is a step size of 0.2 meters, so every 0.2 meters, a new plot is created between the start and the end. Hence, in this example, we have six plots. The phase configuration of single core cables for multi-circuit arrangements can be optimized to significantly reduce the magnetic field. Optimizing the phase configuration has the following advantages. It reduces health and safety concerns for people being exposed to the magnetic field. It reduces electrical losses of the cables. And it improves current sharing balance when multiple cables per phase are used. Let's look at an example. The phase configuration for these two three-phase cable circuits in flat arrangement is ABC-ABC, resulting in a maximum magnetic field density of 22.13 microtesla. The optimal phase arrangement is ABC-CBA, 
If we update the table accordingly and recalculate, we see that the magnetic field density reduces by 70%. Here is a table of optimized phase configurations for single core cables. Let's quickly take a look at DC cables. For DC cable systems, the static magnetic field around the positive and negative conductors will tend to cancel each other due to opposite directions of current flow. Just to demonstrate this cancelling effect, we can change the direction of the current flow for both conductors to be the same. Subsequently, the magnetic field density is much higher. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Cable HV software, please visit elec.com.au.